Hello my beautiful family. How are you all doing today? I hope all is well with you wherever you are. To my returning subscribers, welcome back. And for those watching me for the first time, you're most welcome to my channel. Today I am preparing spinach stew with couscous. This is a recipe for those who like me are still struggling to make a coop. This is not the same as a coop but it's a close alternative. The ingredients for this dish are meat, spinach, couscous, oil, onion, vegetable stock powder, garlic paste, coriander powder, cumin powder, salt and black pepper. I am using lamb for this recipe, however you can replace this with goat or beef if preferred. It is not necessary to fry the onions in this recipe, therefore I wash my meat and add it into the pot with an onion. I also add vegetable stock powder, oil, coriander powder, black pepper, I add some hot water and mix it and cook it covered for 25 to 30 minutes. At this point the meat is almost ready, so I add my cumin powder and garlic paste. Then I add the spinach. I am using 3 packets of frozen spinach, then I'll cook this covered for 15 minutes. I check on it at this stage and add a little bit of water and let this cook for another 2 to 3 minutes because I like the spinach well done. The spinach is now ready so I turn the heat off and start making the couscous. I will make a small amount now to show you how I do it but we'll make the rest later when it's ready to serve. This is because I find that this couscous is best eaten fresh. I add 2 cups of hot water into a pot to which I add 1 cup of couscous. I am using this gourmet pearl couscous. Add some salt to taste and a little bit of oil. Then cook this uncovered until the water is all finished. Turn the heat off and put it in a bowl and fluff it with a fork. Then add some spinach into the couscous, mix it well and serve. If you're interested in more East African recipes and would like to see more of my simple and tasty recipes, subscribe and turn on your notifications so that you're amongst the first people to be notified every time I upload a new recipe. If you like this video, share it and give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, suggestions or comments to make, please write them down in the comments section. This is all I have for you today. Thanks for watching and bye for now.